Well, hello, gang. Welcome to this ninth episode of building your EQSC airplane. And uh, incidentally, <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Campbell's Soup. <laughs> no, we're going to use those in a little bit, but I have cut out from my templates, I have cut out the horizontal stabilizer and I've cut out the vertical stabilizer. Now you see here there is a line right here down the middle of the horizontal stab. What I've done is I have found the exact middle of this piece and then I went in and I used my square to draw a vertical line and we're going to use those for reference points. And uh, we've got, I've even tried to extend as best I could that little mark all the way around to the nose so I can see it good and to the trailing edge of this stabilizer. So we're going to do that in a minute. Now I wanted to take an opportunity to share with you a little technique. I cut out the vertical and what did I notice but oh man I had a little bit of a wave in it you know it wasn't perfectly straight and well it is now and how did I overcome that um, I actually spritzed it down with a little bit of water it actually works best if you have a little bit of ammonia in your water um, you know you can drop in a little bit of ammonia it helps to I guess uh, penetrate the wood uh, but anyway I used a little bit of water I spritzed it down and took my trusty monocote covering iron, or top flight covering iron, yeah, it's monocote. Anyway, and then I ironed it down. And what I got, when I got finished, was, yeah, you know, nice, back to straight surface. Anyway, little trick that you might want to bank away for later. Uh, if you have a piece of wood that's warped and you need it to be straight, of course, when you put your covering on it, you're going to be able to straighten it out. But in this case, I needed it as straight as I could get it so that when I glue down to my horizontal, then, you know, it's not going to be, I'm not gluing that twist in. So, what we're going to do now is using our guides here, we're going to take a little bit of our glue, and we can actually be kind of liberal with it here, although, you know, I've not found that, you know, you actually need a whole lot of this yellow wood glue, and we're going to position it in place. Now, I told you I made these marks on the side, and those are going to help us to make sure that we're not askew. And I'm looking pretty good there. Hey, you know what, if you get it a little off, don't worry, it's a model airplane, a little bit ain't gonna hurt it. Now, you can take your square and put it up and help you get it uh, straight, but <laughs> something that I've been doing for years, I go raid the pantry and I grab some soup cans. And if you're real careful, you're gonna be able to position exactly 90 degrees and lo and behold we've got it set and I know those cans are pretty square so we have uh, we have a nice straight vertical that is completely perpendicular to our horizontal and just put a little pressure to make sure we're okay looks good hey we're gonna let that dry and um, we should be good now another thing I'm gonna do real quick we talked about this uh, building a fuselage we pretty much got all of that done, but we need to glue in <clears throat> our rear wing mount. And really all you're going to do, and this is, this is the rear wing mount, one eighth, one eighth inch light ply. We're just going to glue it in nice and flush to the wing saddle area and the fuselage sides. I'm just going to glue that in. Um, and we'll talk more about how we're going to mount the wing down to this later. But we're going to glue this in, and we're going to let this dry, and I'll join back with you in a few. Okay, just like I talked about last time, um, I have glued this piece in. This is our rear wing hold down area. Uh, furthermore, I've gone ahead and drilled it. Let me show you what I've done here. On my wing, now I show on the plans that this is our center rib, our F1 or our W1. I guess that's what it was, wing rib one. Anyway, this is our this is our first rib. Well, I show on the plans to drill two holes, one here, one here, either side of it. That's perfectly fine. That's what I would expect you to do. Um, because I had you put in back here those multiple layers of eighth inch and sixteenth uh, inch stock. Um, we've got a lot of glue in there and a lot of wood, so it's going to be real rigid. For me, 
I've just gone ahead and drilled the hole in the center, and you can do this too. This is the glory of uh, building your own airplanes. You build them however the heck you want to, not how some designer thinks it ought to be. So that's that's what I've done. Um, then I then for, from there, well, let me just go ahead and show you. This is the side opposite the fuselage, and again, I've taken just a you know small piece of like I'd shown you before, a 32nd inch ply and put it in there so we've got a little extra strength but I place that onto my fuselage and then from there I centered everything up. Now how do you center things up? You... I'm going to try to lay it here where you can see it but you can take your... get it where you think it needs to be. Incidentally on this airplane if you've built it accurately per my plans then what you're going to find out is these ribs on each side of the center they line up with the fuselage sides so if you've built accurately then that's a good way to start off lining up but then once you get it to where you think it looks good well then you can take your tape measure and you can measure wing tip out to fuse wing tip out you know to to the fuse to the tail and then you can figure out you know once you've got it centered you know that both of those numbers are even then what I would recommend is take your pen and make a little mark here just so that you know that you're not twisted. Now me, I just did the TLAR method. That looks about right. I lined it up and I drilled my hole. And I used a quarter inch bit through the wing, right? Um, I didn't go into this detail on the plans, but I want to show you now. There are a lot of different ways of holding down your wing this plane is not designed to be held down with rubber bands, so unless you come up with some wing sheeting to strengthen the center section, I wouldn't do that. Now, uh, if you were going to run two, what you may decide to do is drill a hole on each side, um, you know, set the wing in position, drill through the wing and into the mounting block, and then you can put a blind nut in and use like a 632 bolt with a blind nut and you know use a nice washer on it on the top those are kind of small um, since I'm using one I've elected to use a nylon quarter 20 and see if I can get that up where we can see it that's just a little quarter 20 got it at my local hobby shop camera's not gonna focus on it real well <laughs> but and I've furthermore I've cut it down I think these things come two and a half inches long I've cut it down equally well I've used uh, was it 832 1032 uh, but I didn't have those right now, so I'm using quarter 20. But I ended up using a bit smaller to drill through this fuse block. And I need to look at my bits to tell you what size I used. I use a 3 16 bit. Now, going 3 16 that's now undersized, and that's under what this would be. So, I used my trusty tap, since I've got the pilot hole started, and I just tapped in. Now I've made threads in there. Before I actually fly this airplane, I'm going to take some thin CA and I'm just going to wick it into those threads to strengthen them and then, you know, let it dry and then when I then I'll probably run my tap through again just to kind of clean it up and then those threads will never strip out not on an airplane this light. Now also on your plans I had shown the use of a second piece under here. Again, because you know, I'm kit bashing my own design like I often do. You know, you can take that thinner piece and put it on the bottom underneath this and glue everything in. Well, what I elected to do, and you're not going to be able to see it, but underneath here, I put some more of that tri stock down each side, and then I took a smaller piece, here just about this size, and I just eyeballed it, and then I glued that in. Where once I knew I drilled a hole, before I drilled the hole, I set the wing up, made a mark, and I offshot it, but that's okay, so that I could, you know, know how far to slide this piece in and glue it. So, you know, now I've got uh, threads, instead of being in an eighth inch piece of ply, I've got them in a quarter inch piece of ply. So, we are now ready the, to, to bolt the wing down. That portion of our build is done. And if you're using, again, if you're using just regular blind nuts and a metal screw, feel free to just go through one layer. You don't have to glue in the second layer. So uh, join us back soon and we'll continue on with this build.